utensils and equipment that is needed in preparing a sandwich. Can you name the tools, utensils, and equipment that we discussed yesterday? Yes. Red knife. Red knife. Very good. Group five. Sandwich is spatula. Very good. Is spatula. Nice answer. Grater. Very good. The measuring cups. Very good. The scissors. Butter knife. Butter knife. Cookie cutter is very good. How about the equipment that we discuss? Did we discuss equipment? Yes. yes. Okay. Microwave. Microwave. Very good. Oven. Oven. Yes. Salamanders. Salamanders is very good. And? Okay, last. Bread poster. Bread poster. So those are the tools. Utensils and equipment that we discussed yesterday. Now, I prepared a, read, a sample picture here, class. I want you to dissect these pictures and to know what is the relationship of these pictures in our discussion. Okay? So you may name, you may describe. What's that? Fire. Fire. Okay. How about this? Wind. Okay. Clouds, yes. Also, if we have wind and clouds, what do you feel? Cold. Cold, okay. And? Sandwich. Sandwich. So, what is our lesson for today? Yes? Okay, very good. Nice answer. It's all about hot and cold appetizers. So, I prepared a game for you, class. I want you to enjoy this game. This game is called the sandwich game. Are you familiar with the game class? No. No. Okay, so I hope and I know you will enjoy this one. So I have introduced with you the sandwich game. So this is the instruction. So each member will be given a name or a unique ingredient of a sandwich. So inside your red envelope, uh, please bring out the name of the ingredients. There are seven ingredients there. You may distribute now. And if this green, okay, were you able to distribute class? Okay, so please get one. Okay, so I think group, six, group three, there are only six. So at least one of you have two. Okay, so the instruction class is, if they screenshot the name of the ingredient, the person in charge should be spent. So you should know what is that ingredient you are holding okay and if the screen says two or more ingredients the person is in charge should stand together or if not stand because of the space you do not have a space right just raise your hand or the paper you are holding okay and if you see on the screen sandwich then all of you will raise the paper or the Ingredient. Is that clear, class? Yes. Okay, so we will try. So this is just a trial, then afterwards we will give points. Okay? So let's try this one. Okay, I think it's group one who got the correct answer first. Okay? So next, another try. Go. Okay, bread and lemon. So I think it's group three. Okay. So if you see two, then the two of you should raise it. Okay? And last one. Last try. Okay, I think it's group four. Okay, so, so you already know the rule class. Okay, are you excited to start in class? Okay, so let's start. So this time, the first to raise their answers will be given points. So the first three that we do a while ago is just a trial. So this time, you see, let's start with the points. Okay. So are you ready? Yes. yes. Okay, so go. Okay, I think it's group four. So we have cheese, cucumber, and ham. Okay. Okay. Okay, 
Okay, are you excited for the next set? For the next round? Okay. And one, two, three, go. Okay, I think it's true. Okay, so we have mayo, cucumber, ham, and bread. So we have points for group one and group four. Okay, next. And go. Okay, I think it's group. The last group, group five. Okay, and okay, get ready. Go. Okay, I think it's group. <laughs>
So you're going to group that pictures into three. If you're done, just call my attention. Okay, I think group four is done. Group three is also done. How about the other three groups? Do not use any more the names. We're focusing on the picture. How about group six? Are you done, group six? Okay, ten seconds. Ten. the pictures. Okay, see for group one. Okay, very good. Group two, group three, group four, and group five. Okay. And how about for the moistening agent? For the moistening agent, very good. So we have the butter, the peanut butter, and the jam. So there are three. Okay. Nice try, group one. Very good, group two. Group 4 and group 5. And the last one is the fillings. So we have, for the fillings, we have the lettuce. Then we have the tuna spread. And the last one is the chicken. Okay. I think everybody got it right. So please, a round of applause for everybody. So let's move on. Another activity prepared for you class is, as you observe, there is an envelope in your table. Okay? So you will be given two or three envelopes, each group. And inside the envelope, there are letters which form the different sandwiches, both cold and hot. So it's either hot or cold is in your envelope. So you will be given one minute to arrange the letters. So if you were able to finish that, then just call my attention. Okay, I think you are very ready because you are already holding your white envelope. Okay, so at the count of three and one, two, three, go. Okay, so you're going to arrange what are those letters. Just call my attention and I think group 5 were able to finish first. Okay, very good. How about the other group? Okay, I think group... How about the other one? You finish everything. Time is running. Okay, group two. How are you? Group 5. 
Anyone? What's that? Okay, open face and deep front. How about the other group? Group three. Half open face. Okay, the half open face and P. And how about group one? Real and roll. And how about the other one? Okay, it's pink wheel. Okay, and how about the other group? I think group four, you're done. How about group two? So large. What's that? Okay. For those who were not able to get the answer, as I discussed, you will check your answers if they are correct. Okay. So the first thing we're going to discuss is the cold sandwich or the cold sandwiches. So I have here examples of cold sandwiches. First class is the open face sandwich. And these are the examples of open face sandwich. So it's made up of one sandwich and the fillings are on top. Okay? So that is an open face sandwich under whole. Next to that class is the plain sandwich made up of two slices of bread. Okay, so as you can see, um, this is an example of egg sandwich and then there are two slices of bread. Next to that is the pink wheel sandwiches. So this is an example of a roll sandwich but then it's called pink wheel it's because that is divided into three and it's rolled together with the fillings okay next to that class is the tea sandwiches okay so this is a tea sandwich served together with a tea so the size of this is like the canopy okay next to that class is the multi-decker sandwich okay so if we have the tea sandwich which is minute or small, then this is the opposite. This is huge sandwich and it's called multi-decker. Okay? So there, there, is, there are three, I should say, there are three sandwiches used. Next to that is the wrap or roll sandwich. Okay, so we have here, so it's like the pink wheel. But then this one, if you're going to cut, you have to cut it diagonally and divide it into two. Okay? So those are the six examples of all or six types of sandwiches. Next to that is the hot sandwiches. Okay? So it's just the vice versa. Anything that is hot, then it can, can be considered as a uh, hot sandwich. Okay? So the first one class is a regular hot sandwich. So if we have the whole sandwich, we also have the regular hot sandwich. And the best example of this is, what's this? Hamburger. How about this? What's this? It's sausage. Okay, or it can also be, yeah, better than sausage. Okay? Then, hot oven paste sandwich. So we have the oven paste sandwich. This time to command, we have the hot open face sandwich. So it's an open face sandwich that is hot. Okay? Next to that is the grilled sandwiches. Okay? So all the cold toasted sandwiches and it contains cheese popular for grilling. So we have to grill the bread. Okay? That's why you see here there are lines. Okay? So it's brown. Then next to that is the deep fried sandwiches. This is made by dipping sandwich in beaten egg and sometimes in bread crumbs and then deep fried. So, can you recognize this one? Bread roll. Okay, this is a bread roll. Okay, and the last one is the filled rolls. So, flavored breads served with dips. Okay, then as you can see, uh, it is rolled and it is filled with ingredients which are hot or which is hot. So those are the five examples of hot sandwiches. Okay? So do we have questions or point of clarifications? Okay, question. What are the two types of sandwiches? Hot and cold sandwich or sandwiches. Okay? How many examples of hot do we have? Hot. 
How many hot? There are? Five. There are five. And how about cold? We have six. six. Okay, so there are six. And what are the three components of sandwich? Can you name one? Yeah. Base. Base or the structure. And we have the fillings. And the last one? I can hear you. Yes. Okay, very good. The moistening agent. So this time class, I want you to bring out one fourth sheet of paper. You put the materials in the red envelope. Okay, in your one fourth sheet, you write your name in your section. Done? Okay, on the screen. So name the following picture in what type of sandwich do they belong? And write your answer in your paper. So I'm going to show you picture. Are you still with me, class? Yes. Okay, I'm going to show you picture and there are choices in the picture. So you're going to write the letter and the name of the picture that I'm going to show you. Is that clear? Yes. Okay. So let's start. Number one. So you choose the letter and the name. Number two. Okay, number three. Number four. Number five. Number six. Please focus on your own paper. Number seven. Number nine. Number 11.
Number 12. Number 13, 14, and 15. What are the components of sandwich? What are the three components of sandwich? Antecano 5. Submit your paper to your group leader. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay, group leaders, please may I have your paper. Get your one done. Okay, and row five. Okay, so I will be the one to check your paper. Thank you, class.